All right, everyone. Hello. This is Forced, and bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle today. This match is against uh, Pac-Man Rage. He leads off with a Machamp, and I lead off with a Zelf. And as usual, Specs Stab Psychic is going to wreck anything in its path. So that brings the total sum right off the bat to uh, six five. <clears throat> And then he brings in his, uh, wait, what? And here I switch into my Jolteon because uh, I'm locked in specs and stuff. He goes for Crunch, which was a pretty good move on his part. I didn't know Gyarados has actually carried Crunch. So I, I go with Thunderbolt just to be safe instead of doing any trickery. And here, and uh, here comes a Snorlax. I get the Parahax on it, which doesn't mean a whole lot because it's already slow as dirt. And this is a curse set anyway, so it it doesn't benefit me in any way. And later on in the match, it um I actually don't get any paralyzes on it at all. So. I switch into Celebi, hoping that I'll come in on a Parahat move, and I can set up my Stealth Rocks. So here I am setting up Rocks, and then yeah, uh, what is it? Body Slam? I think it's Body Slam. Body Slam doesn't do too much because I'm a physical wall and everything. So here it's just doing whatever. Right now I switch out in a, a Zelf. Goes for another curse. So you know, looking back at this now, I really shouldn't have done this. I should have gone to my next poke right off the bat, but I was hoping Spec Psychic would do something, but it doesn't and I get taken out by now. What is what is this move called? Um, body slam. Body slam. I keep forgetting that. Um, anyway, he takes out my Zelf. So, here I switch into Infernape now. Close combat it. I'm pretty sure it wasn't going to kill. Which, it doesn't. And then he gets to hit me with either an Earthquake or a, um... What is body slam? But he goes with earthquake, and ape is gonna die, especially after that uh, defense drop from close combat. So that's too bad. And that is aim going off right now. If you can hear that. Um, gonna continue narrating this battle first, though. Uh, bringing this scissor to a revenge kill, so I go with superpower, which, you know, I was thinking of going with bullet punch, but I was like, you know, it's probably not going to kill, and I'm already faster, and if he wants to switch out to whatever, then that's cool too, so I go with superpower, in comes fortress, the physical wall, <laughs> I'm not too afraid of what it can do to me, so I superpower anyway, just to get some damage off on it. And, yeah, you know, I'm at minus two right now, so I think it's a good time to uh, leave. So, after he's done rapid spinning, I'm going to switch out into my, I think, uh, my Jolteon? No, I switch into my, no, I, I love this thing, my offensive Life Orb Suicune. It's way too good. I know there's absolutely jack he can do to me, so I'm going to go for a combine right here. Right after Gyarados comes in. There's my combine. Now, I'm not afraid of what he can do, and I'm faster, so I go with uh, HP Electric, which was, regardless of the plus one, it's going to dominate Gyarados completely. Wait, what is definitely 
a wait what moment. <laughs> uh, taking some life orb damage recoil. Here comes Zapdos. Now, I ran a calc on this before I did it. I made sure that I could, uh, or rather, um, Life Orb, or, I'm sorry, Special Sweeper Zapdos does tops 80% damage to a, a um, does 80% damage to a Suicune with plus one special defense, and I knew that a uh, plus one Ice Beam could definitely KO if I stayed in, which it does, and that's absolutely awesome. So I lived even after that little life war recoil and he sends out Lucario and I bring in my Jolteon and that is unfortunately the end of the game as he leaves early but nonetheless good game and had some fun playing thanks for watching